Hello, my friends. Welcome again. I'm still on Oracle of God, and uh, I was asking, as an Oracle of God, what can your God do for us in reality, where we have bad governments, bad rules, bad conditions, bad, bad everything, yet you are the Oracle of God Almighty? What can that God do for us in reality? And you know the answer nothing that god cannot do anything for us tell yourself the truth and stop claiming nonsense how can you be oracle of almighty god when you yourself your life is miserable you cannot move freely even in your own village and you are talking you cannot go to somebody's house and drink water or drink um, uh, any type of beverages or eat freely you are scared of them poisoning you. And you are a color of God. Your words are as empty as that foreign God you claim to be, uh, to be, to be its oracle. You're supposed to know that. Whatever God you said you are its oracle, that God have eyes he cannot see, that God have nose he cannot smell, that God have mouth he cannot speak, that God have ears he cannot speak, that God have throat he cannot make any sound, that God have hands, that God cannot handle anything, that God have feet they cannot walk, that God is useless in reality, and you are like that God. There is no single promise of God in the Bible that can happen in reality. There's no single promise of the Bible that can happen in reality. You know why? Because Bible is a work of fiction. You can't thrive on fiction. You can't thrive on faith. You thrive on facts. You have to have knowledge to thrive. Faith is useless in reality. Faith can only keep you in bondage. With knowledge of the truth, we set you free. Let's see the definition of oracle of oracle. When you say you are oracle of God, let's see what the, how dictionary define oracle. Okay, Mr. Lexicon, what do you say? You say oracle is one who is wise, authoritative, or highly regarded, a divine revelation. A divine revelation. That's oracle, right? Okay. Then you go down again. He said, Oracle is a shrine consecrated to the worship and consultation of a prophetic deity, as that of Apollo at Delphi. <laughs> I don't know about Apollo and Davy, but I think I know about all those uh, like uh, Amadio and all that in Igbo land. I know those. Who I have had that those ones. Okay, Oracle. This is where this guy claimed to fall into. Say a person such as a priestess, priestess. That's you have priests and you have priestess. But this one, he said, priestess instead of priest. I don't know why this one used that. He said, through whom a deity is held to respond when consulted. As I'm consulting your God now, I am. you are the oracle of God, right? Come, so I come to consult your God. I want your God to tell us our creation day, the day he created us. Okay, he cannot talk about us. Okay, he can talk about you or about me. Can you ask your God to tell me the day he created me? I need the day. Just as our parents or my parents told me my birthday, I need my creator, which you call my creator God. Let him tell me my creation day. Until he do that, he is useless. And the words you are speaking is as useless as the word of that you are God. As an oracle of God, I'm consulting you. Do you need a consultation fee? I can send it also. But as, as long as I read in your Bible, you say freely, you receive, freely give. You didn't pay God to get, get the ability to speak for him, right? Okay, so tell me, I'm consulting your God. 
are you able to answer me? I think Peter said you should be able to answer anyone to ask, that asks you about your hope, right? We can answer you about your God, not just your hope. Okay, you hope in that God. You have faith as evidence of what you hope for, right? All right? Okay, I'm asking you to consult that God according to Jeremiah chapter three verse three. Ask him about my birthday and your own birthday. Because, it, I mean, about my creation day and your own creation day, because you don't know your creation day, and I don't know that. You know why you don't know it and I don't know it? Because it never happened. No God created us. We were born. You know your birthday. I know my birthday. And that's what we know. So whatever you're talking about God, you have to get your facts together. You have to ask that God real question and get real answer. Not when you ask real question, you get faith answer. No. Real question should come with real answer, not with faith, faith, faith answer. I don't need faith answer. Don't worry. One day God will show himself. Don't worry. God, God will respond. No. Let it happen. He said, a person such as a priestess through whom a deity is held to respond when consulted. And he said the response given through such a medium, often in the form of an enigmatic statement of or allegory. Allegory. <laughs> Another I would say a person considered to be a source of wise counsel or prophetic opinions. Prophetic opinions, not prophetic truth. <laughs> An authoritative or wise statement or prediction. No, there, there is nothing they can predict that will happen. Every prophet is false and every prophecy is a lie. I've been saying that. The, the, the way you can prove that every prophet is false and all their prophecies are lies, ask them for the date. If they tell you their God will do anything, ask them to give you the date. Tell me how God will do and tell me the date. I need the date. It will happen. So I will know it is true. Not believe. And that's the only way you can prove them. If not, they will, they will throw you in their, uh, in, their, in their bush and tell you, no, one day it will happen. Something will happen. No. Let them give you date. A person considered to be a source of wise counselor prophetic opinion, and he said, a command or revelation from God. Which God? A command or revelation from God. When will God give you that revelation of when he created us? In the beginning, God created When was that beginning? We need the death. God so loved the world, he sent his son. We need the death when God sent his son. You said Jesus died for you. Tell me the date Jesus died for you. Nobody knows. Yet you believe Jesus died for you and is coming to take you. Take you where? You will live here. Die. Born again. Come. Live. Die. Born again. Come. Live that on the <laughs> eternity. You are eternal. You don't need eternal life from any God. You don't need any revelation from God. Speak what you know. He said in the Bible, the sanctuary of the temple. See? That is the definition of oracle. And you say you are oracle of God. In other words, you're getting revelation from God. Anybody that wants to know what is God's wish, you come to you, consult your God through you as an oracle of God. And I'm consulting you right now, and you can do nothing. Your God cannot do shit. You cannot do shit. All you have is empty words. And you cannot threaten people like us, telling me that something will happen. God will reveal himself. Fuck that God. I don't need his revelation. Fuck that God. I don't need his opinion. I am greater than that God. I am the real God. I am the real living God. That God you cannot see is dead. You are the real living God. That God you cannot see is dead. If you are a woman, you are the real living goddess. That goddess or God you cannot see is dead. It's useless. But we are useful. Remember that deity is a, is, is a human being gone wrong. Why? Because human being is wiser than God. Human being is, wise, is stronger than God. Human being is nicer than God. Human being is wiser, nicer, and stronger than any deity you talk about. Deity you cannot see, but you believe is exist. 
he hears some people argue about the deity of Jesus. Where, where do you see Jesus? You cannot prove the deity of Jesus. Jesus cannot heal your headache. Cover yourself with all the blood of Jesus. You see the Reverend Father, they, they said the band is, is uh, set ablaze with his car. They roasted him like a ham. All the blood of Jesus, all the holy water, all the holy Mary, all the prayer from Pope, from every Catholic member could not pr uh, protect him. They, roast, they roasted him alive. Our fellow human being. And he said, Reverend Father, they robbed him his manhood and his life. Christianity has been causing a lot of evil in our land. Most Islam has been causing a lot of evil in our land. And our people keep condoning them because they have that fear. Oracle of God, Amen. Oracle of God, Pastor, Oracle of God, Bishop, Oracle of God, Apostle, Oracle of God, nonsense. All of them are criminals because they are not telling the people the truth. And when you dare to reveal their truth, they begin to threaten. Oh, this will happen. Nothing will happen. Take my name, take my picture. You know, I, 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 all my profile, all oh, are public. Tell your pastor about me. Share my video, share my post with your pastor. Invite your pastor to come to, you know, we call him stupid idiot because he is. How can you be an African telling me about Jesus? How can you be an African telling me about Jehovah? How can you be an African telling me about Elohim? How can you be an African telling me about Allah? How can you be an African telling me about Yahweh? And that guy I was talking about, he said that he knew his seven his ancestors to the seventy generations. And I said, that's still not your true the true history of yours. They are still colonized history of, of Africa. You're supposed to know your ancestors from Kemet. You're supposed to know your ancestors from Ethiopia. You're supposed to know your ancestors from Egypt. You're supposed to know your ancestors from Nubia. They, they, they destroyed that one. You don't know. It's your ancestors that ran away and maybe migrated where you find yourself today. You say, yeah, that, that's not where your history began. You existed before Yahweh. You existed before Allah. You existed before Jesus. You existed before Jehovah. You have to know yourself. How can you claim to be oracle of a foreign god? The, same, the god of the same people that rape your ancestors, enslave your ancestors, colonize you to date. You are still under their oppression. And you say you are the oracle of that god. That's why that god will never speak to or through you. All you are saying are lies, regardless of your title. Man made deity. But man is the real deity. Any deity you, are, you worship, any deity you fear or believe in that is invisible was made by man. Man made that deity and tell you it's in invisible. Who told you God is invisible? Man. Who told you God is a spirit? Man. Therefore, man made God. No God have appeared and tell you, I am God. You, are, you worship me. Or I am a spirit. You know? No God have said that. It's your fellow human being that say that. Human being, human is the real deity. The invisible one is fake. The real God is, is your fellow human being. That deity, that invisible God is fake. Stop killing yourself for it. Stop hating others, even yourself for it. Speak for yourself, not for God you have not seen. Stop being a stupid adult by having imaginary God. Stop being a stupid adult by having imaginary friend. Invisible God is useless. Invisible deity is useless. It's time you trash that God and live humanly. When you live humanly, you will see how peaceful life is. You see how fulfilling life is. You see how good life is. And you will enjoy life. I'm asking you again, you who claim to be an oracle of God, speaking as an oracle of God, who made you oracle of God? Which God made you his oracle? When did God make you his oracle? How can you prove that God is real? Why can't you see why can't you see that God you represent? 
what can that God do for us in reality? Seeing all the bad government or governance, bad roads, bad conditions, bad everything in your family, around you, and you still have the God to tell me, you speak as an oracle of God that I will declare what? The undiluted power of what? The undiluted power of which God? Which God are you talking about? If your God exists, invite your God. Let your God appear. Let us see your God. He's almighty, right? If your almighty God cannot appear on Facebook live broadcast, that God is dead. I mean, it's useless. I mean, it's non-existent. I mean, trash that God and live humanly. I can see you, you can see me, we can communicate. But you are God that is invisible. It's useless. Wake up and live as human being. Stop living godly. Live humanly. Peace.